Somebody has zoomies. That is Cody. My lap has been conquered. And there's Mama. She looks tired. Let's see, who are you? That's Keith that's Keely right there. Echo climbing down. And there's fives. He's like, this hand holds me with formula. Where's the formula? Mom's getting pettings beside me. Yes, mister? There's Echo. Keely and Rex. Mama's laying down right beside me. Grooming very well for a one month old kitten. This is Maze. Yes, Mom. The toys are standing by in the poop free zone. Let's see, this is Fives and Echo, Keely and Rex. Cody and Maze. Those are the two biggest kittens right there. We have poop safe toys in here now. And the kittens are interacting with the springs.
What are you doing, Echo? See your mummy. Hmm? The co the I, I check the collars daily to make sure they're not too tight, and they're all loose on everyone but Cody. Cody still has room. You know, it's still safe, but I have to make sure I check his daily just because I don't want him, want him getting a gross burden and then his collar being too tight. If you are joining us on Twitter and you have not seen these kittens yet, I have a 24-7 kitten cam of these foster kittens. If you do a Google search or Bing for foster kitten cam, it's the first link. Now this one has what's called frog legs, where the hind legs splay out to the side instead of going underneath. If you ever see a kitten like that, do not worry, they will outgrow it. Usually by the second month. And this is Mama. Her name is Nala. Nala C. And she's very sweet. She loves to be petted. Loves, loves, loves. It's Rex and Echo. Echo's getting pretty tough. She's learned how to bunny kick. She's a, by far the lightest kitten. In fact, Cody is twice her weight. And she knocks Cody around. She is uh, exactly the opposite of cross-eyed. She is wall-eyed. A lot of the kittens have it too, where their eyes look to the outside instead of in. They tend to outgrow it to the most effect. And that's Rex there. They're named after characters from the Clone Wars animated series. Uh oh, Echo's taking on another one. Echo's taking on two. Cody and Maze, the two biggest kittens. And she's winning. They will probably be let out within in about a week. I wait. What I try to hope for them to do is start peeing by themselves. Fives has already started that. It's part of the litter training process that has been very successful with almost no accidents. Where are you going, Rex? Echo has a bunny kick down. Nobody else does. Nobody can get past her bunny kick.
Thank you, Chris. Echo saying hi to mom. Echo has the green collar, maize yellow, Keely black, and they're all and those three are girls. Rex is red, Cody is white, and Fives is blue, and those three are boys. So I don't know why some people are seeing in black and white and some people in color. Maybe you're dreaming. And then again, I dream in color. Mom has a six kittens but only three working nipples that are nipples are producing milk seems like there's a lot of okay there's a lot I'm not sure there's milk in there what tends to happen is that the kittens end up taking shifts while nursing somebody will lose the bar fight at the milk bar and take a nap and then once the ones that are feeding, nursing, stop. They'll move in and get their get their meal. That's Echo right there, nursing. She moved right in. I think Nella had uh, infections in her memory glands from a previous litter, which basically killed off their milk production. Now Echo's trying to get her spot back from Rex. There's two seats there, upper and lower, but she's going for the upper, um, the higher up seat. You see how they weasel each around, try to knock, try to get the other one to, to detach, and then they latch on real quick. Unfortunately, unfortunately Echo has latched on the comfort nipple. There's a fourth one out there that's been nursed on but doesn't produce milk. Or if it does, it's like trace amounts. And there in the back is just a kitten that just doesn't give a damn. <laughs> that's probably Keely.
here's echo Echo's already moved in. Yeah. Maze is starting to figure out the bunny kicks. Fives is starting to nom on me. Once this uh, recording is stopped, I will upload it to uh, um, YouTube as long as it's uh, saved a copy of it to my phone. It doesn't always do that, even though it says it does. I removed the poster so that, that the kittens can climb the fence. That one was one of the original ones that I replaced, but it's hard to get to back there, so I just left it.
and they're starting to numb hard. Their, their teeth are breaking through, so they're teething, and they can bite hard enough to give a nasty pinch. Echo's falling asleep now, starting to, along with Rex. In Mama's penthouse, she just climbed up my back to get in here. This is how she gets in and out of the cubby with the kittens. Echo was the first one to interact with the spring. And then I saw Maze pick up a yellow spring and then get it stuck on the door. Cody's being obnoxious and the other kitten doesn't want to play. This is Rex and Keeley. I feel teeth. Ow. Sharp teeth.
Rock'em Sock'em Kitty. Apologies that I don't do um, the live stream close up as much. I'm trying to draw in new viewers from Twitter. Going in there. Show them how it's done, girl. Okay, I'm going to have to stop the broadcast in a minute because I have to get ready for my volunteer shift. If you like what you see and you have Twitter, go ahead and share this video to your friends. Enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.